Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Timmy Trickle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And my next movie review for you guys is Molly. And Molly was released on October 22nd, 1999. It is a romantic dramedy film that has a 5.8 out of 10 on IMDb, a 14% on Rotten Tomatoes, and an 80% on Google. Now the movie had a $21 million budget and a limited release, it barely made almost $17,000. Now, the movie was directed by John Dugan and written by Dick Christie. And it stars Elizabeth Shue, Aaron Eckhart, Jill Hennessy, Thomas Jane, and Lucy Liu. And this movie is about Molly McKay, played by Elizabeth Shue, who um, goes to live with her bachelor brother, uh, and he's unwilling to be the guardian, uh, mainly because uh, of her autism and her disability. And he feels that she would be better off still staying in a home. But when an experimental uh, brain procedure comes to light and, um, and helps her out with her memory and uh, she begins to... Uh, remember things and is able to ride a bike things like that his attitude changes uh, but then eventually the procedure wasn't a permanent thing and she went back to uh, her normal self uh, and her brother played by Aaron Eckhart Buck McKay uh, has a hard time with it uh, and doesn't know really what what he wants to do because he wants to send her back to another home or what uh, this movie has a, a nice message in it don't judge a book by its cover and again your family uh, I have a brother who has uh, Down syndrome and I don't treat him no different than I do my other brothers and sisters you know we, we goof around we mess around we wrestle we do uh, all the same things I do with the rest of my siblings and I treat him no different and in this movie, it was really upsetting how the Buck character was, you know, treating his sister. You know, she, you know, they can't help that. And in this movie, it delivers a good message that, you know, you need to stick by family and, and be there for them, no matter what. And that's the way it should be. Uh, you know, like I said, they can't help that they were born this way. You know, it's the same as if. I was born covered with moles and had bad teeth and whatever the case may be. You still got to accept the people, uh, especially your family, for Pete's sakes. Uh, and in this movie, I found myself really getting agitated with the Buck character uh, for a while. But then his attitude changed when her brain was uh, uh, fixed for a, sh a short stint. Then he was all happy. Then he goes back to being a dick, and uh, it, it was it was frustrating uh, with the character Buck. But I love the performance of Elizabeth Shue in this movie. She did a fantastic job. I, I think this is one of her better performances, in, in my opinion. Uh, and I, I like the performance. Even though it was small for Lucy Liu too, it was nice uh, seeing her in some earlier movies. Uh, but this movie is very heartwarming. It's got a great message, uh, and of course, I I teared up in this movie. It, it just it hit home. It, it hit me right in the heart. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. Definitely not a perfect movie by all means. Some of the performances I question, uh, but outside of that, I do recommend you check the movie out. You can find it on Tubi. It expires in three days, so I suggest you go ahead and watch it as soon as possible. I'm going to give Molly a 7 out of 10 and two thumbs up, so definitely check this one out, uh, especially, like I said, you got three days left on Tubi. You can find it somewhere else. Um, you should be all right. But in the comment section below, if you've seen Molly, 
Give me your thoughts and opinions. Did you like it more than me? Did you hate it? Do you think it's okay? Let me know uh, your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And as always, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you like this review, hit that like button. But stay tuned here shortly for my Throwback Thursday movie review. I thank you guys for watching and check you later.